Hi, welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to execute, we are going to run Selenium test cases by using Selenium RC and Eclipse. We need to perform few steps in the first, we need to start Selenium server. Then we will record some test cases by using Selenium IDE and will convert into the Java RC and JNIT4 format. Then we will execute these converted test cases in Eclipse by using JUnit. And then we will make some changes in the code to make it executable on the different browsers. So at the start, we are moving to start the Selenium server first. So here is my Selenium server jar is placed. I copied this location. I'm starting the command prompt. From the command prompt, move to the location where Selenium server jar is placed. So CD and the location. Now write a very small command like java space hyphen jar and the name of the jar file. Either you can copy paste the name of the jar file or just press tab. It will show the jar file name over here. Just enter and here we will find my Selenium server started. If we are not getting, getting any exception means everything is working fine. The next task is to perform or to record some test case. So I'm going to a website, my web application small website that we are going to use in the current test case so that world testing dot in I'm starting my Selenium IDE we will record a very small test case few clicks we are going to perform only so recording is started I clicked on the about us then click on the success story then click on placement results so we have recorded a very small test case stop the recording Go to Options, Format, Java, JNIT4, RC Format. My test case is converted into the Java, JNIT4 and RC Format. Now move to Eclipse. Create a new project over here. So I'm creating a file, new Java project. Give name of the project like JNIT4. Now I'm moving to SRC, right click on that, I'm creating a package. I'm giving the name testing world as the package name. Now I'm moving to package, right click on that, create a class. I'm giving the class name or the test case name is DC001. Now move to the Selenium IDE and copy the code which is converted into the Java format. Copy this code, placed below to the, uh, to the code which is generated while creating the class. Now we need to make few changes. First, copy the name of the uh, class that we have created in Eclipse and replace with the name of the class which we copied from the Selenium IDE. Remove this blank class. Now we have the two packages. One is that we have created in Eclipse, other which is coming from IDE. So remove this package which is coming from the IDE. Remove these blank lines. Control S to save. Still we are getting a lot of error. This is just because uh, to execute my Selenium code in Java, we need some libraries. So as of now, we don't have any Selenium library. To add the Selenium library, go to the uh, go to the project, right click on that, build path, configure build path, add external jar, and select the jar file which we have downloaded. It's a Selenium server standalone jar. Just add it, Control F. We'll find all the errors has gone. To execute this code, I'm running on the run button. It will ask for the JMIT. Yes, I'm, I want to execute by the JMIT. Because I have set up Eclipse and Android as well, so it's asking for the Eclipse JUnit or Android JUnit. This option will not come to 
your machine if you are not using the Android. So you will select the Eclipse JNet and you will see that your test case will start executing. I am using the latest Mozilla version which sometimes got crash. So I am removing the crash report and here you will see my test case started starting my browser then uh, started my URL and perform the actions. That's the first page that is loaded then my test case will execute and you will see that when we execute our test case by default on Firefox uh, on Eclipse it will execute my test case on the Firefox. My test case is executed successfully. This green means everything is executed successfully. I want to execute my test case on the different browsers. So here in the code you will find out that it is showing a browser code. It is showing Star Chrome. For Firefox we can either use Star Chrome or Star Firefox. If you want to execute our test case on the Google Chrome, just mention Google Chrome. And I'm executing my test case again. Now we will find out it will execute the test case on the Google Chrome. So we have executed the same test case on the different browsers. If you want to execute your test case on IE, then we need to mention star I explore. If you want to execute on the Safari, star Safari. Opera, it's a star Opera. So test case is executing. And once it done, it will show either green or red, depends on the path or failure of the test cases. If it shows green, means my test case is executed successfully. In the current session, we have covered how to execute our test cases or I'll say the IDE test cases on Selenium RC by using Selenium RC on the different browsers. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to know about more about us, then you can go to the www.thetestingworld.com. If you want any training support, you can call or WhatsApp 8743913121. Thanks.